Hi to everyone, it's Emanuele from Italy, Evil Dead Italia. Uh, you have seen me in some other lives before this one. Um, so today we are going to talk about art in Evil Dead Rise, and not only Evil Dead Rise, but even something about uh, Ash vs. Evil Dead and um, uh, Evil Dead 2013. Uh, as you can see from the previous lives, uh, this um, Evil Dead Italia love a lot um, art of any, of any kind. So anytime we could talk with about art with artists, we are very happy of this. The previous one, for example, was with a um, comic writer and illustrator from uh, Dynamite for talking about um, Bubo Tap versus Army of Darkness comics. So uh, we, we love to talk about um, heart. Uh, today we are going to have uh, two very cool uh, guests. Uh, they are Hal Gillis and Link Choi. They both worked on um, um, Evil Dead Rise, uh, uh, the latest installment of uh, um, Evil Dead franchise. And um, they both worked in the art department. Um, Hal Gillis worked on uh, the concept art for the movie, while Link worked on uh, um, the Necronomicon page. So, uh, without any further ado, I'm going to present you one by one, Hal and then Link, and um, and then we are going to have a, a little chat about the content that they created uh, in these movies. So, here it is. Hello, Al. Thank you for being here. Hello. Hello. No, no problem. How are Hi. you? Good. Okay. So, first of all, um, can you talk a little bit about uh, your career? I mean, uh, how did you start your career as a um, graphic um, as an artist? I mean, uh, you work at just a concept designer or you, you cover even other kind of position in this specific um work uh yeah so i um mainly work as a concept artist because it's in my opinion it's one of the best jobs on on film really um you just get to draw all day and um and sort of uh do views of the movie before before anybody else has done anything um which is which is quite a lot of fun uh i my father was a production designer, so I grew up around um, lots of television sets and film sets. Um, they've been there my whole life, really. And as soon as I was old enough, I got started uh, working with him in, initially and then went on to other projects um, with other, other people as it sort of grew from there. Yeah. And uh, what I can show you, I can show for the, the viewers your CVs on your website. I'm going to share it uh, because you lot you work on a lot of uh, very cool stuff. Uh, 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 sorry, I'm, I'm a little bit slow. Okay, well, there is a use, use, oh, maybe I need to, okay. To make uh, some kind of <laughs> tweaking on the side, you worked on a very on a lot of cool uh, stuff uh, with that rise of usually. I can see you worked even on um, uh, Evil Dead 2013. So yeah. maybe later we are going to cover this this better. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. So um, now we can um, present the other guest that is Link. Hi, Link. How are you? Hello. Hello. Thank you for having you here. It's a pleasure. Hey, thanks for having me. It's a pleasure. Uh, here we have uh, uh, Alex that uh, cheers out uh, uh, every one of us from Denmark. <laughs> hey, Alex. Hi. Um, so, mm, let's say... Mm, um, thank you for having you here, first of all. Um, for the one that are seeing the stream, you have to know that um, uh, Link and Al are both from Hockland, so they are uh, they, they, they are in the morning there. While here I'm from Italy, and here we are some stuff like midnight stuff like that. 
and just to give you a little bit of background. And uh, so, Link, uh, um, thank you for having you here. And uh, I would like to ask you if you, you can, let's say, uh, uh, explain us something about uh, your job and uh, your career. Uh, what are the highlights? I found something on the IMDb, but uh, I think it does cover it all because, for example, IMDb, you don't have even Evil Dead Rise. And so there is some part missing. Um, yeah, thanks for that. Um... Um, I started working in film on uh, the Hobbit films. That was be back in 2010, around then. So, um, yeah, yeah, like, like what Al said, and doing, being a concept artist for film is a pretty, pretty great job. Feel pretty lucky. Just pretty lucky to be able to draw pictures for a living and just, um, you know, usually you, you get you get kind of told off and punished for um, making stuff up, but now we're getting paid for it, so it's pretty great. Um, I guess uh, briefly my CV would be, uh, mostly I have uh, done concept art in the prop design department, and I've worked on, um, apart from The Hobbit, which was a really, really good learning experience, a good introduction, I guess, because um, it was so tough that um, after The Hobbit, every other job seems really easy. <laughs> um, so since then, I worked on a few other things, like um, Netflix, uh, Marco Polo, that series, uh, Mulan, Disney's Mulan live action film. Um, but probably my favorite jobs have been um, my, my various Evil Dead jobs that's been the most fun i mean and uh, working with nick bassett who you've interviewed uh, a few weeks ago yeah that's that's been great and meeting l l's pretty awesome to work with this yeah. guy mm -hmm. got a few together now yeah yeah so i i have to ask you something i mean uh to both of you I mean, how you get this kind of job? I mean, obviously, I mean, you work like um, freelancer or you are part of a, some kind of a team and, and you get called by your colleagues uh, that work with you. I mean, it, it, what, what, is the, how, 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 what is the way in which you were uh, on board, let's say, on, on, on a specific movie? For example, it was The Rise. Like, or can we go? Um, yeah, yeah, I'll go first. I, I guess, um, I guess we, we are the, the, the profession of concept artists within film, uh, there are not that many of us. So I guess, uh, people get into their first job, um, in different ways. And then once you've had your first job, then if you're not too difficult to work with and you, um, and then your your if your work is not too bad, then people will call you back next time. So I'm gonna think about it some more. Like I, I guess there's something that a lot of folks may be interested in, like how to get into the business kind of question. But what, what was your experience, Al? Yeah, mine was slightly different in that dad was a production designer, so I kind of started with him, although he still made me, uh, he made me uh, sweep the floors of the studios to begin with. <laughs> Everyone has to start there or start running, um, and I did quite a lot of that on television commercials and things, and then um, sort of started maybe doing graphics as well. You just have to be kind of useful and a bit flexible in that you'll do any sort of visual that they need. And then as soon as you kind of get a bit better at that, um, you just go from one job to the next, mm. doing the same thing and just kind of improving um, as you go. Um, and then because so many people work on these things in the art department, you know, there might be, uh, when you started on The Hobbit, there would have been hundreds of people. After that project finishes, they all go off onto different projects and like Link said, if you're nice enough to be around and your work's not too bad, hopefully you'll get a phone call and you'll be off to that next thing that they're on, um, which is, has probably been the case for me. 
I generally work with a few designers like Grant Major or um, Nick Bassett that I really like to work with and um, ideally just stick to them really. Yeah, yeah, yeah I guess, I guess um, generally, um, the, I, I guess that's the general advice for film industry, at least in New Zealand, is that you, you just get in in any, any um, entry le level position that you can. So, so often, often is uh, the department runner. You know the, the, you know you get in as the person who kind of help everyone out, who go buy supplies, and then, and then, and then once you're in the system, once people know you to be a good worker, then 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 you have a chance to tell people what you're interested in, and uh, you work hard towards that. And. Another question. I mean, um, I have a, a little bit of background in art, not by myself, but because my dad worked as comic uh, drawer in Italy here. So, I mean, uh, was a one a little ch since I was a little child, uh, my my father uh, make this for a living, and um, it was the eighties. So everything there is no digital stuff. I mean, it was completely, you know by hand with pencils and huge seats uh, and so i would like to ask you i mean i suppose you work completely digital or there is even a uh, more uh, let's uh, let's say mm. a, a classical all the style you know um, sure. way of drawing a and, and another thing do you work from home usually or you have uh, let's say the, for when the when a movie is uh, in or in work, you work from some kind of office or in team, and you work together, and you decide stuff together. I mean, what what is the the day by day? You let's say of uh, of your work. Like, El, uh, El, El, yeah, you want to start? Uh, uh, through the pandemic, obviously we worked from home, and I think on Evil Dead Rise, it was they had just. They were coming out, but we also went back into a lockdown in New Zealand. So um, at that time, I was working from home. On Evil Dead Rise, I, was, I think I was at home um, working remotely, but they were in the office. And I did go out there and walk around the sets occasionally, but that was basically just because I, I really wanted to see it. Um, and it's, it's a bit, you're definitely, it's not the same working at home. Ideally, you'd be in, in the office working with everyone, like, so you can go downstairs and have a chat to Link and get a coffee or something just for a bit yeah, of break. Yeah. Plus, you get to see everything else that everyone else is doing, and you're working around a whole bunch of really talented people, so there's a lot happening, and um, you get a lot out of it being there. But, yeah, so a bit of both, really. Mm. Yes, yeah, yeah, so, so in film... Um... In New Zealand, generally, is you, you work in the office. I mean, the, the office being um, at the studio. So, because um, most of our colleagues in the art department, they're hands on. They have to be be at the actual on the actual sets and doing physical work. And, and it's good for guys like us, no? Because with with me and our like our work, we can be just by ourselves sitting at home. Yeah, and um. You know, working on the computer, uh, but that's like a recipe for becoming more and more weird over time. <laughs> so, so having to go to work at the studio is really good for our mental health, right? I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know? I can, and I and for your other question, um, um, uh, uh, digital versus analog. I guess um, that's what once you're used to working, there's not much difference. You know, we, we draw on a tablet, so we, we as much as possible when we're working digital, we try to uh, keep the feeling analog, right? But of course, digital with so many, most tasks, you can do so much faster. Mm -hmm. So I guess, um, yeah, for speed, you know, we, we would go straight to digital for a lot of work. And, and especially um, for, for L, L's, you do a bit more 3D, right? Yeah, I, I kind of really like the big um, sort of establishing shots or environments yeah. that we're going to do. So in Evil Dead Rise, it was the Mondo apartment 
or or that initial shot of her rising out of the lake, those ones are kind of my favorite sort of things to do. So it'll be a combination of Photoshop and a combination of 3D um, models, which I'll render. Um, so, yeah. yeah, I really like, and they always want those in full color. So it would be cool to do them out on pencil, but um, most of the time I work digitally. So, so um, you are even a 3D artist? Huh? 3D, yeah. So I mean, you 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 do even the models. Yeah, you, yeah. Draw yeah. Oh, okay, you you are you are doing both. Okay, because they yeah. work in the in the video game industry, and we have two D and three D artists that work, let's say separately. So knowing someone that work with both uh, technology is uh, very cool to know. I mean, is uh, right. It's cool. Yeah. But, but again, it's like uh, whatever the movie calls for as well, you know, like sometimes, especially with the book, it's from 19, you know, 1920s. It's, it's going to be all hand done. Um, uh, but so we'll use a lot of kind of traditional methods. But um, I think, Link, did, you sent me some brushes when we were doing the, the book, eh? Like, so we'll make it, it's done on the computer digitally, but it's... Um, feels just like drawing on, on paper. Yeah, yeah, a lot of the uh, most fun projects. Um, so, so working in props, there's um, often a lot of back and forth between us, the uh, props designer and the prop makers who also make the props. And also the prop painter, for example, who, who um, you know, give it that final really magical aged look or whatever it takes um yeah so so i guess yeah for, for me i guess it's like a one to one to nine ratio what like 10 percent um analog and 90 percent um digital on photoshop yeah and then i i'm i'm at that stage where i i sit in front of the computer too much i just like any excuse to um just pick up a pencil or, or a pen, you know. Cool. Uh, you yes, that... yes. So, so if there's any uh, any any viewers who are interested in this kind of work, yeah, definitely um, you, you need to know at least Photoshop. Mm -hmm. And and uh, some, some 3D would help. And uh, you, you said you work with the tablet? I mean, do you work with iPad or uh, stuff like Cintiq, uh, the, the board, uh, the huge board? Um, I'm on the tablets. Uh -huh. I'll show you. I'll show you right here. <laughs> oh, cool. cool. Ooh, wow. So that's it. Okay. Yeah, pretty much. There's some Very computers cool. under cool. there and a whole pile of cords and then two tablets. And... Um, I don't know why I've got two here. One usually lives at work and one lives at home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. Um, and and uh, I use a Cintiq for work. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's a good. It's a good investment. It, it is, um, like a, made made me a few times faster. And and I need the help because I'm really slow. <laughs> And um, I would like to ask you guys, uh, I mean, uh, um, well, I am a huge, uh, as you can imagine, I am a huge fan of the franchise. I was born in the 1981, that is the same year. The first it's movies come out, even if, if it was filmed, it was filmed before, but it come out in, in the 81. And so I'm older like the movie. I'm old like the movie. <laughs> and... Um, so I'm a huge fan, but you are professional. So I would like to know uh, w when was the first time you get in touch with the Evil Dead franchise? If you know it before, you were fan, or you just take it as a professional occasion, and then you you studied it after. I mean, to understand how it work, how it how the franchise work, what are the the main the keywords and stuff like that. Do you want to go first, Link? Or? Um, L, L, you go first. I have to move. It started raining. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> this is uh, very real. We're live, people. I'm outside. <laughs> I have to go back inside with us. 
Okay. In, in New Zealand, uh, Manuela, we have uh, similar movies by uh, Peter Jackson, Brain Dead and Bad Taste. Yeah. And I saw those movies when I was way too young. Dad just let us watch them. And uh, I don't know if you've seen Brain Dead or Bad Taste, but Bad Taste was one of my all-time I've seen, favorites. I've seen the other one. I mean, uh, here in Italy, I have another title. I, seem, I suppose it's called Splatter. I don't Splatter. know why. Splatter. Right. It's the one that with the zombies, right? The baby zombie and stuff like that, right? Yeah, and he's, he's eating out. Is that oh, an Italian he's... film? Splatter? Uh, I don't know Splatter. No, no, no. Is the is the word that they use for uh, uh, let's say just see the movie was oh, uh, uh, Jackson was uh, uh, he did the, the movie that is called uh, wait a moment eh? because, bad taste is the one I'm thinking of. Okay, uh, 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 uh. I, I'm searching for the original the original uh, the original uh, brain. Okay, brain dead. Brain yes, dead. Yeah. In yes. Italy, it is called uh, the. Splatters, the uh, <laughs> the brain splitter or the brain uh, the brain uh, I don't know how to translate uh, literally, and uh, this was my first uh, of Peter Jackson I've seen. <laughs> yeah, so I think I saw that I might have been about fourteen with my brother, and we just loved them. And then from there, we saw a few other zombie flicks and Evil Dead uh, one and two. Um, and then it wasn't until must have been about 2012 when we were starting on the um, the Evil Dead, that one, that I went back and watched them again a bit more seriously, um, you know, focusing on, on the, the details that are in that those movies. Um, but, yeah, so I've always kind of been into the horror and, and that, that genre. Mm -hmm. and, um, and, and for me, um, my first contact with the the evil dead franchise was when i was i, I was quite young uh and man and manuela you can you can tell me what year it was but when evil dead 2 came out do you remember 87 i suppose 19, yeah do, 85, do you remember that um that really iconic poster of the um the school of the skull with the eyeball yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah that that just that image so I, I, I'm from Hong Kong, so I was just a kid in Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. I was too young to um I was too young to see those films, they wouldn't let me in. But but that poster image was all on all the newspapers and it was just like and it just like haunted my soul <laughs> ever since. Um, so when when I got older I obviously went back to uh, watch those films, they were great fun, especially I especially liked um, Evil Dead Army of Darkness. Yeah, yeah. which which is like a, a kind of a, 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 a kind of a switch up of genre. But I really like those kind of uh, sword and sandals genre of films. So I really liked Army of Darkness. Yeah, yeah, and then and then. Um, and then Ash versus Evil Dead season one got a call from Nick Bassett. Haven't worked with him before, and that was our first time working together. And yeah, the rest is history. Yeah. So I would like to ask um, to both of you. Um, I was working on Evil Dead Rise, and uh, what was the, the the greatest challenge you had, and. Um, uh, for I, I have two different questions, one for all and one for Link. Decide then how you prefer to, to reply to the questions, uh, in which order, I mean. Uh, for Al, um, well, I interviewed uh, Lee, Mr. Lee Cronin, and he talked to me about uh, how the script, uh, the script come out. So my first question is, when you, um, let's say, uh, designed the, the, the concept arts, Design. I've seen few of a few of these. In case you have someone to share, uh, let me know. We can share the, the screen and stuff like that. In case to to talk better with some something uh, in front. Um, yeah. However, uh, when you um, draw these concept arts, um, how much you you collaborated with the 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 the, the, the director Lee Cronin or uh, 
uh, the, some some screenwriter. I mean, uh, how was the, the the communication? And regarding Link, uh, the first question is, uh, well, the Necronomicon of this movie is very different from the classic Necronomicon, and even from the one from Ashes Evil Dead, of Evil Dead uh, and um, Ash versus Evil Dead. So the first question is. Uh, uh how do you decide the, the style of this i mean uh, it, it's a very different kind of illustration no so you have to decide uh, we want to be very different from the classic or stuff like that and the second part is uh, even the, even there the content of the pages how much is from your let's say from your mind and how much from uh, some kind of scripted stuff okay you can go in the order you prefer <laughs> You go first, Link. <laughs> <laughs> um, is your guys' audio okay? It's, uh, yeah, it yeah. sounds a little scratchy. No, no, I, for, for here, we, we, I can see hear you very good. I mean, hope you can hear, um, you can hear us better. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, so I... There's, I'll, I'll try your second part of your question first. Mm -hmm. um, so when we, um, when when I worked on the um, Necronomicon pages, um, by by the time it got to me, already uh, the the director and the production designer will have quite solid ideas of what they want. So often they would have collected a lot of reference images as well. Mm -hmm. So, for example, um, they said, "Oh, this page will have will have the um, the image of a of a lady demon." You know, j just as just making up an example, you know, a lady demon floating in the air with uh, little demons coming out of her stomach or something. Then you know they would have. Um, uh, then they would have given me um, different art styles that they that they like, um, and then and then it's up to me to to uh, um, yeah, it's quite a fun process because sometimes um, sometimes the the mission is very straightforward. I just do like I'm told, and I'm there. But um, often is trying to trying to guess what people really want, and so when when um, my boss is talking to me, I uh, and I nod and agree, and then afterwards you you pretend you didn't hear what they said, and then you just try try your idea. <laughs> um, but but um, at the end of the day, it's yeah, often, often it takes um, a few attempts for us to understand each other, and you know, along the way, um, uh, so sometimes you know your the director may end up um, um, after seeing what I what I give them. They may, it just helps them clarify what they wanted in the first place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, because you know what, what what we do what we do in in a, any given prop is just is just one problem out of like a hundred problem that the director have to deal with on that day. You know, so so what we we try to um, just help where we can. Yeah, the process is a lot of back and forth. It's not just um, and and every every little job is different. Okay, and uh, well, if I'm not wrong, uh, watching the graphics from Evil Dead Rise, it remind me some witchcraft. Uh, you know, all the witchcraft, uh, Dark Ages, uh, imaginary. I mean, uh, you have this kind of references, or or it's completely different. I mean, you you get all the material original material from the past uh, or more uh, uh, stuff from a cinematic uh, creation? I mean, what kind of reference you had, uh, if you remind something of yours? 
yeah, yeah, the, the, yeah. The fun thing about Necronomicon and, and th about this prop is that uh, it has so much history now. And then each time we, we do another iteration, we, we are always um, trying to trying to in in some way in some way stay true to the original idea, but always each time bringing something new. So so with um, with Lee Lee's version, he he like introduced some um, old Celtic alphabet into it. That's his take, but um, yeah, like you said, there's elements from witchcraft and there's just elements from what um, all over the show. We, we're not we're not too strictly like sticking to one source of inspiration. I guess we're just grabbing stuff from all over the place. Yeah, it's really fun. It's a really fun prop to work on. Cool, cool. And regarding you, Al. Can yeah. You... Uh, yeah. So we normally work. So we'll work to the designer. We'll work to Nick Bassett on the Evil Dead Rise and um, make sure that he's happy with what we're doing. And it's sort of uh, this is for the wider like concepts of the buildings or um, or maybe sets that we might build, like in the inside of the apartment or the kitchen, all all those areas that we're going to um, do images for. Well, I'll work back and forth with Nick and like Link said, he'll have a lot of reference um, and things that he wants to get in. And then if there's any spots that he hasn't told me about, I'll just do what I want and um, then I'll send it back to Nick. And once we get to a point where he's happy with it and we both sort of like it, he will take it to the director. So Lee Cronin on, on Evil Dead Rise and um and the producers and stuff and that that's his part of the job is is to um is to sell it to the, those guys and then they might like it sometimes it does just fly through other times it comes back and they're they're thinking of something else or they've got another idea that 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 fits part of the story they want to tell um like ellie's uh tattoo artist corner um we went over that a few times and same same in danny's bedroom where, where they're going to play the records and where he opens the book all around there's quite a hero area um so yeah we'll go we'll go back over that stuff uh, until until they're happy with it and they'll get a, a look that they like uh so yeah we mainly work work with the designer really mm -hmm. i had a few interview a uh, few zoom meetings like this with um lee when he was in his quarantine, when he arrived in New Zealand. Um, and he was very excited. Uh, basically, every image you showed him, he was um, pretty happy to see. Uh, he, he swore a lot. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. well, well, I'm seeing something on your site. I've seen something on Instagram because uh, Nick Bassett or Rick Cronin uh, shared this, but I'm seeing it, it is on the website, on your website. Just a moment. Yeah. Uh, share screen. For example, this one is really con iconic. Yeah. I, I never noticed that there are a lot of uh, body parts. Yeah. Body parts because uh, in the movie there were not. So my, my first question here is that there is something in the script that uh, make you think this, or is just more for uh, for to have a more impact on the image here? No. So they, I, you get the script, but they're still working on that as they go. Like they're tweaking things with a whole lot of different ingredients coming in. So there's actors are slightly different to what they originally envisioned or the location suits something else. So it's always changing. So you get a little idea from the script and a little idea from them. But then I, we all just, we're in the business of just doing options for them of different mm -hmm. things. And when so like uh, the, they were getting chopped, hacked up and a few kids had died. So I thought, uh, maybe it might be interesting if there are body parts, you know, in, in there yeah. and she came out of there. So it really looks like there's a lot of carnage going on. Uh, in the film, I, I think it's just blood in the end. Um, 
But yeah, I, I probably put the wrong image up because we do so many and and once it's gone to Nick and I've sent him four or five images, roughly the same thing. I think we did different title um, graphics too. And, and, and you just send off a whole lot of options. I, I don't actually even really know which one they pick. I've already moved on to the next thing that we're working on. Um, let's see, let's see. Because uh, I'm going to see the, the Nick Bassett page on, on Instagram to see if he's put a different if, one. If it's a one. Yes, I didn't notice yeah. before, mm -hmm. but maybe it's time to give a look. This, uh huh, not this one, not this one. No, no, it's, it's exactly the same because I can see all the corpses. Body parts. Far. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I definitely I, I have it here without the body parts too. Yeah, yeah. And the, here, let's say, if I can guess, I suppose the scenery is 3D while the girl is draw by end or is yeah. uh, or is just uh, or ingressing wrong. I mean... Uh... Oh, no. So, so the, the sky uh -huh. is actually... I actually have all the elements for this funnily enough because I was talking um, to Nick about it just recently. He was driving home from work and he, the sky did that and it had that burst come through and he took a photo of it in his car. That's where I got the sky from. He sent it to me. He said, this is the sky I want. So I put mm -hmm. that in and then the hillside behind the lake, that's the location. Mm -hmm. The water with the body parts in it is a 3D bit of water. And then the um, character is it. I'll do like a posed character in mm -hmm. 3D and then I will just paint over the top and, and Photoshop afterwards. Okay. And the, the, the text. It's just all, all on layers in Photoshop. Yeah. Yeah, it's very effective. However, <laughs> very it's very effective. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, I think this is one of the ones that when you you send it to Lee, he just goes off. It's like <laughs> that's it. <laughs> you know, really excited. <laughs> and the uh, so the, the 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 scene in which the girl come out from the water was in the script. I mean, uh, uh, or or there is. Or I mean, your your concept art to give more uh, hints to to create it in the, on the screen, on the final version. Let's say. I'm not sure. Um, uh, it it was probably in the script, um, mm -hmm. or if it wasn't, it was something they worked on and added into it. But um, yeah, it, it's a good th two or three years ago now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's already. Oh my God! Yes, because the movie come out uh, this year, but uh, you filmed it in two thousand twenty-one, yeah. maybe. But probably yeah. you worked on it even before, yeah. Because yeah. I mean, this, this is preparation. You work so you worked a lot before the movies, but not uh, during it. Uh, yeah. So we will go on while they're shooting. We might be doing the stuff that they're going to do at the end. Um, but yeah, the concept artist is, is normally done before they even finish filming. Okay, let's see if there this is one. This one is sweet tooth, right? Is oh yeah, one? that's a sweet tooth one. That's is a Mulan. One? Yes, a Mulan. Okay, yeah. okay, I'm going should... ahead because probably okay. This is evil that rise for sure, yeah. but uh, this is not zoomable, so I'm going to zoom it. Oh yeah. This is the, um, the apartment, the, the high rise, right? Yes. Yeah. I, I've seen on the the Lee Cronin, uh, um, on the Lee Cronin Twitter that there is an, a real place like this, but is uh, practically cut down here, something like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. So it has a, a line that we're using up to for the characters to walk in front of, and then a bit we extend it off. Yeah. I mean, well, in obviously. 3D. Yeah. Yeah. So we're not in LA. So a lot of it was going to be added anyway. Mm -hmm. um, but it was just just about finding that entrance. And that was a good, felt like a good start to a building. And then we just extended it, it up. Yeah, it is very cool. And uh, this is uh, this is the girl, the little girl. When the yeah, so that, that's when the, after the earthquake and, the, and they're on to their emergency lighting set up. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is this is this is already the possessed daddy, right? I mean, uh... starting to yeah, you can see her ankles a bit broken, and you know yeah. what happens. 
Yeah. And uh, and um, when you did this, uh, let's say this uh, concept graphic, you didn't know what is the um, the aspect of the hectares there. I mean, uh, you, you you are just trying to uh, draw the characters as, uh, as they are described, but um, you have no reference from any actors. I mean, they come after, right? The casting. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They'll they'll still be working out casting deals and stuff when we're doing our stuff. Um, because obviously these these images are to say this is the size of the room that, or set that we're thinking of building for the hallway and this is where we think the lounge connects to the kitchen um, and this would this suit the action that they're going to have in there. It's all about telling that story um, and making that story believable. But yeah, we, we don't know what the actors look like most of the time. And they, there is the infamous book, the, the Necronomicon. Yeah, yeah. So that, that would be like version, like, you know, yeah, I the, don't know, maybe 50 images of the book cover. Uh -huh. and that one is a sculpt in ZBrush. And, uh -huh. um, and you go with something when the book lands on your table, you're going to be working on it for months. Like you're just going back, back and forth with Lee and Nick, you know, for as, as long as they have time for, really. Um, I think, did he say they kept changing it right up until they were, even while they were filming it, they were still adding bits to it? Yeah, yeah. It's the same thing that Lee told, told me. I mean, uh, he told me that the description in the script was very detailed because he talked about this vein at the first thing and uh, even the, the teeth. But yes, yeah, that teeth. you work yeah. a lot on you work at that. So this is the the first, uh, the very first version. I mean, because I suppose that then, uh, when it come uh, to prop masters, I mean, uh, they they work on this. They use it as a reference, or maybe they restarted from the script. I mean, yeah, it's, it starts in the script. Lee definitely one of those teeth. I think it was is from an earlier movie where um, uh, Bruce gets bitten by the book. Mm -hmm. um, I think that was the reference because it cuts Danny, doesn't it? And that, that allows the blood and that brings yeah. the book to life for the for the teeth to come open. He really wanted those, you know, when the teeth click apart. Um, he really wanted all, all those things in there. And we, we did a lot of versions of the um, the clasp, whether it was like a metal clasp or it was actually like teeth that had been woven into the book. The book, book was alive. Uh, did, did you did you ever hold in hand one of the uh, Euro props uh, were make for the movie? I mean, uh, to see how much they differ from the from your, the concept. Props. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't uh, bother me. I actually really like it when um, we have super talented guys. I think was it Al Hopwood and um, and Brian. They 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 take this <laughs> image. And they just give it a lot of love. And, you know, you'll go and you'll see the real book and they'll even punch like little hairs into it and, and things like that. I mean, you, you, you run your hand across it. It's just absolutely gross. So that they take it further than we can in, in the concept image. So usually it looks better than it did in your image. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for, for sure. I mean, I support, yeah, because of the, the physical thing, I mean... Uh... This is there is no other thing here for me for the rise, I suppose. If you keep going, you might run into uh 2013 Evil Dead. Ah, uh, okay. Know. Is it on there? It might be on there. Ah, uh, okay. Later there. Yeah, okay. Yeah. A little bit further. For, oh, here oh, it, there is. it is. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, nice. Yeah. I love this. I mean, I haven't put my chat, but that, that was it. It was the cabin and the um the vines and stuff. Yeah. There's this the same thing for that movie too, like just fifty images on the book, the book cover. Um yeah. So uh, it, it, um, um let's say how, how much you um, worked on this on the 2013? I mean, it was a work like the one on Rise. Uh, you have a little, a lesser, let's say, a lesser role, so you work the less on this one. Uh, uh, no, well, on Evil Dead 2013, I was working with Dad, who's pretty, um, 
is mean. <laughs> <laughs> so I was I was working very hard. <laughs> <laughs> Because I was doing the the set designs of that cabin, which had the um, the basement as well, and then we built the cabin like three times that matched. So the build there was actually three of them. One all around the trapdoor, which had the um, basement in it, and then they had the cabin upstairs. Another one which had the cabin on the studio, and the cabin could all be split apart for all the action in there. And then another cabin that matched that was out in the wood in the locations, um, in the location. And so it was doing that, and at the same time we were doing the book, and the book is uh, is a big process, as Link will uh, test. Um, and so we had we had uh, Tane Williams was another illustrator that was doing like the illustrations, and I was doing the text and the layout, and we were also in that book they wanted like it had been past gone through a few people so people have written notes all through that book and um i think myself tane and, and polly walker um did all these crazy notes scribbled notes of possessed people and, and people that had um picked it up along the way oh awesome actually actually i have some questions al i'm a fan <laughs> i'm a fan of that book but i i have never met tane williams yeah yeah, he's great. He's a cool, cool artist. Um, we're, we're all stuck in a little office, a little glass office, working away yeah. on the book. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I'm a fan because he he did some of the um, artwork for the Ash versus Evil Dead version of the book as well. Right. Er, early on. Yeah. Um. Be, before I volunteered myself. Oh yeah. Yeah, that, that's I, this. This uh, sorry, I'm going to share it because uh, I have found because I remember it, it's a long time ago. I mean, I was uh, let's say a child when it came out this movie mm -hmm. in 2013, and I was let's say uh, uh, naive maybe uh, because Dane Williams had a site and um, he put some pages there. So I contacted him in the past, and I was telling him if if he sold those. But I didn't understand that he was the the real uh, author of the the real pages. I mean, I I didn't know that. So wait a moment, I'm going this to share. This is the original book. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. Because uh, mm, mm, I mean, uh, the book have a, the Necronomicon from Evil Dead have a huge legacy. I mean. Yeah, uh, I don't know if you know the work of uh, Tom Sullivan on the first yeah. two movies. I had a lot of chat with Mr. Sullivan. He's a very nice guy, very nice guy. Right. And, right. Yeah, and uh, here it is. Okay, can you see it? Is this one that's, right? That's Tane. Yeah. Yeah, Sorry. that's Ta Tane Williams. Those ones, I think. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, sorry. Yeah. No, I, I have no way to get it better. Yes. Yes, for sure. This is the Tane Williams. That's great. What, what, but the, you did the, I mean, the, the, these pages have the aging, already the aging, or, uh, or, uh, yeah. Or they, yeah. or, or they were, pre or when they get to the prop to, uh, they get, uh, let's say, the the the, the, the aging is removed and then is aged again physically. I don't know how this works. I mean, correct. So so Tane would do that image, uh, the illustration, and then we would lay it out in Photoshop and we'll put a bit of aging on it, and mm -hmm. then they were printed on some really nice um, thick kind of paper that could handle a, a total beating, and then then it got a whole lot more aging across the top of it. Um. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So, uh, I'm going to ask to to link. Uh, well, first of all, you have to know there is a huge community out of out there. I mean, uh, there are a lot of um, fan of the franchise. Uh, after, mm -hmm. in particular, in, in this, there is this group that was born after the TV series came out. And it, mm. called, and it is called Night of Sumeria. And it is a, mm. a very cool group of uh, very uh, talented 
fun and prop makers that, that studied, I mean, studied each photogram of the series, of the movies, etc. And they reproduce the books and the pages. So you have a lot. Uh, you have a lot of. Uh, they don't know that you are the the one, no. But uh, you have a huge fan base there. Out of there, I mean, because uh, uh, anyone is studying, you know. Uh, someone, mm -hmm. someone won, won um, some action because it, I don't know if you remember, but after the TV series, the TV show ends, uh, and that there was a huge auction auction of the the, the stuff that uh, were. And so there are a lot of fans uh, that have um, original pages uh, from uh, screen used pages, mm -hmm. and, and so they uh, so they organize to buy a lot of them to mm -hmm. they see how they were done and and uh, the drawing and etc. So I mean they are very very uh, talented and and passionate about your work. I mean because at the end yeah that's great man. They don't, they don't know that that is your work. So, in fact, one of them to, today asked me something like, uh, just a moment, because I want, I want to read you the comment the guys did to me. Yeah. Uh, he, he told me, no, it's not here. Wait, uh, just a moment, because it's pretty fun. Uh, okay. Ah, okay, ask where the artwork are. <laughs> if I can have a picture, obviously he was joking, you know, but uh, it, it was very fun because uh, uh, they 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 really admire your work. And I mean, um, so um, talking about the Necronomicon, I mean, can you tell us something about your experience? Uh, how much uh, is different uh, Ash versus Evil Dead from Evil Dead Rise? If you have some images, uh, low quality, obviously, to show here on video, to make some example, to to see, let's say, some differences or uh, to let's say to highlight the difference of style, uh, what kind of uh, uh, different approach you had uh, on working on this. In the meantime, I would like to share this with you. It is um, a fun art. I commit. Uh, I got for. Um, uh, let's say in just a moment. Oh, thank you. Uh, wait a moment. Is the one you sent me over Instagram, right? Yeah, yeah. I've sent okay. you a few, a few examples. Okay, I'm going to save. So, so I'm going. Oh no, I'm going to show you the. I'm going to share this this the chat here, so so we can. Yes. Uh, okay, just a moment. Uh, okay. Share video. Can you see? Oh, wait a moment. Maybe it's better that I share this the window. No, it's pretty the same. Okay. Uh, 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 I'm going to the load and show it on the. Okay. It is better. Okay. Share. Okay. Here we are. So this is okay. Can you explain? This is the, the the initial design of a page. Yes. So so, so um, I just wanted to show the the very early sketch of this picture mm -hmm. and um, what the final thing looked like. Okay. So this is the early sketch, and this is I suppose come out from a discussion with the, the director or stuff like that. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, so Lee, Lee already knew what he wanted, and then it took me a few attempts to uh, um, get it right. Okay, so this one, at the end, become this one, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. A and what about all this stuff written here? I mean, uh, there is some meaning? Or just, uh, uh, let's say, uh, with written stuff with no sense, the stuff in here? Oh, this this is um, absolutely the correct uh, Necronomicon language that is uh, very secret. Uh -huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
and it is, so so it is uh, some kind of uh, let's say font you you realize it by your end it it, it is um, completely unmade or yes uh, i'm trying to remember um yeah i think here's the process and and it for me for me it started with um it was tane williams actually who who um did the text in the ash versus evil dead version So so he kind of came up with the alphabet for for that version. Mm -hmm. And then what I did for that version was a lot of copy and pasting what Tane did but also um doing more writing of my own by using his alphabet. Mm -hmm. And then I I think his alphabet was um also referencing Tom Sol Sullivan's work from uh, the yeah. very beginning. Awesome possible because i remember that the, the tom sullivan glyphs are 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 meaningful i mean there is a meaning if you see if you watch carefully the pages so this one become this one let's say it, it's fun to see yeah. all these tests it's like uh, you <laughs> know I, i come even from a website designing uh, career in the past and uh, It reminds me a lot of the Lorem Ipsum, you know, placeholder. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it's very, it's fun to see a Necronomicon page Lorem Ipsum style. <laughs> yeah, this is the uh, Sumerian Lorem Ipsum. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Very ancient, man. Yeah, yeah, it's come. Uh, I mean, even even Sumerian demons need uh, some uh, some kind of placeholder, you know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Let's uh, see. How much is big this one? I mean, uh, uh, this one is huge. I mean, it's a huge draw. I, I mean, there are a lot of details here, right? Yes. The um, how big? How big was the book? Um, L. Would you say it's like slightly smaller than A3 or about A3 size? Uh, yeah, I'd say about that big, right? Sort of. Yeah. Huh. Bigger than bigger than this. Bigger than normal books. Wow. Yeah, if you opened it up, it would be around about A3, eh? Yeah, it's about... Is it about this size? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's quite big. Roughly that. And so, this, uh, as we said, this is all on digital, let's say, and then it's printed on uh, an A3. Shit. 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 I don't remember what Sheet. is the right pronunciation. Shit. Okay. Because the, it's a tricky pronunciation, this one. <laughs> you can't say yeah. thing you you don't want to say. <laughs> it's yeah. it's always happened usually. And uh wow. You, you have even here some kind of uh P chart because even even there Sumerian would like would love statistics, I suppose. Or yeah, like that. <laughs> yeah, it's it's very fun. It's very fun to um. We we just I just made it up as I go along. That's that's to be honest, ninety percent of it. But that's what make this project so fun. Um, I I think I sneaked in a few um, friends' names <laughs> in the writing. You cursed them. <laughs> I can see. Yeah, if, land here, if you look carefully, you'll probably find a. Uh, Al's name in there. Yeah, don't read that part out loud. <laughs> no, I, I, yes. yes. Maybe there is some kind of phone number of someone here, you know, yeah. some jokes uh, from Sumerian <laughs> demon joke. Yeah, yeah. Go go buy go buy the uh, 4K Blu-ray and you can pause every frame to see if you can find everyone's name. Yeah, the, the, the fun stuff is that, that these, uh, I, I suppose these, uh, I've seen for sure this one, Uh, are going to be on the um, vinyl from Waxworth Records, so I'm going right. to have it uh, bigger to see better. And uh, yeah, that, and they can and they can find uh, your number, your phone number, probably here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, there is uh, one uh, one comment here, a, a couple of comments. The first one um, from Red is say great artwork. I agree with him. I fully agree with the Red. And then Thanks, he Brett. say, and he say, really like how the lettering is different from the other books. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's uh, it's really cool. Uh, this uh, this uh, I mean this job, and um, I mean, wow, this I mean from this one to this one is uh, it's, I mean it's uh, it's very is is very cool. I mean it's uh, something. Uh, yeah, I mean it's something I, I I'm used to see because uh, as I, as I said uh, I work with a lot of artists, but uh, not uh, in this kind of you know. Uh, I mean I I am a huge fan of this uh, this franchise, so seeing this stuff from the start for to, to the end is uh, something very, very 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 cool. Uh, I I would like to share it with you. Uh, um, ah, uh, Jordan is saying. Uh, uh, Oh man, that's amazing. Yeah, even this. I fully agree <laughs> even, with, even with this. And probably there are a lot of these guys that I, I told you. Um, this uh, guy from the group that, that really love your work that are seeing this or they are going to recover it because in US, they are mostly from the US and the US at the moment is uh, working hour. So I probably they will recover the live later probably oh, yeah. some of them some of them are, are seeing it now and uh, i would like to tell, to show you this one because uh, i i mean we have a lot of fun doing this but uh, um because um i i during the let's say during the release of the movie before the release of the movie uh, i worked with some artists to create some um, fun arts regarding the movie and the latest <laughs> one was this one, I, I I don't know. Did you create the the dark one page, the one with the man with the hood uh, that are that created the book? I don't I don't know if I can found it. Dark ones, evil, Ash versus evil dead. Oh, this one. I mean, what a moment! I'm going to find it. Uh, this one. Wait, I'm going to share it again. This one, eh, this one. No, I can't find it anymore. This one. Eh, here oh, it. yes. I, is this from you? Yes. Yeah, I did that. That's, um, that one was um, really a highlight. It was really great to work on. Okay. So, so, so that is um, part of kind of this animated sequence, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I think episode three. <laughs> Something like of, uh, I don't remember season the last season of the, the last season. I don't remember. Was it last season? Yeah. Sorry. It's been a while. Yeah, yeah. And, and so we took inspiration from this. And we did this one. I'm going to if I if I can find it because I don't know the user PC today. Uh, 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 uh not this one, this one, this one. Uh, I cannot find it obviously because when I want to find something, I don't find it. Oh, okay, here it is. Obviously, it's just a slight uh, uh, inspiration because your your job is surely more accurate. Let's say <laughs> this one. So essentially, we we put the hood <laughs> to the. Oh, that's variant, great, man. <laughs> And you each the... have a book. Yes. <laughs> any any director with this book, uh, Fede Alvarez with the book of the dead from... Uh, I don't know if I can zoom it. Okay, it's a bad. Uh, Fede Alvarez with the book from uh, Evil Dead uh, 2013. Uh, yeah. Sam Raim with the, the classic one. That's awesome. And then uh, Rick Ronin with the, <laughs> its book. <laughs> So we, we tried to let's say emulate that uh, kind of uh, you know colors feeling you you, you created yeah. on, uh, obviously the, the 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 outcome is different because I mean we are not dark one like you so you, you, you I mean you wrote, uh, you wrote a huge number of pages no <laughs> Um, if you're interested Emanuela I'll, I'll send you a few frames from that sequence. Sorry, can you repeat? I, I will send you a few pictures from that sequence. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Thank you. 
So that's yeah, that was a really nice memory. That was great fun to work on. Let's see. Stand there. Oh, I really they are uh, they are arriving. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I I have to say that if I added this reference before, probably the bad the, the 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 result of that uh, draw I sent to you was really better because we got screen share, screen cap from. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to share again. Okay. Hey, hey, while you while you're looking at that, I just want to uh, what you what you mentioned earlier. Um, like you guys, as well as what you said about the uh, the Knights of Samaria, like mm -hmm. the fans who um, make that amazing fan art, I really appreciate that. Here it is, cool. Oh, so okay, so this is a different, really, diff really, um, it's a, it's a light different, no? Because uh, the one we see before, they are closest one to each other. So I suppose this is the earlier earlier frame, right? I mean. Uh, because they they close up then the yeah the close. way the way um that sequence is put together is quite is quite interesting because um on one hand we, i was doing illustrations like the other pages in the necronomicon but at the same time i'm making elements for an animation so actually each of these figures were on a separate photoshop layer Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I can see even here on the background some uh, some glyphs. If I yeah, yeah. and uh, yeah. these are probably not the final frames that you would see on that you saw on the screen, but um, yeah, if I've sent you two more. Yeah, that was very fun to do. Let's see. So this one, oh, this is one really cool. Okay, they are writing the book with the... Uh... <laughs> it's your end, this one, right? I mean, you are the one that... <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In a certain way, you are a dark one. In a certain way, for someone of uh, sort of some fans here. Oh, this is cool. I never noticed this uh, this specific frame here. Probably it, 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 there is a so, a, a so fast camera here, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A and this is my composition of uh, what I think the frame would be. So the final product may look a little different. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, so so this little that one's um, animation it ends for for me it ends up being like um, part part illustration but also kind of like a storyboard job yeah it's really interesting wow 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 that's great i mean hey so so there's a few more pages for the fans to work on on their replica yeah yeah, yeah for sure because uh i mean uh I have uh, one of them pa of the, the the pages, but uh, it's not here to to make. Oh, maybe I uh, know it's a little bit harder to to, to take. Is there is the um, hero from the sky? You know the ash with the chonsel and yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah, show yeah, me, yeah, yeah. That's a cool one with the cast the castle behind him. Yes, it, it was yours. Even that one. Uh, that one was mine. So um. And, and there was a, a a reboot of Tom Sullivan's um, illustration from the very yeah, first yeah. film, yeah, yeah, or so, the so, second film. So you 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 work at this uh, or someone uh, of your colleagues? I mean, uh, you, we, you 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 just re re recolor because I remember that the color set was a little bit different from the original, right? There is more. No, no, no. Yeah, I, I will. I have. I redo it from scratch, really. So I drew it again, mm -hmm. but you know, with with my take on it, because like every version, the look is different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the that's one of the cool things about this prop. Like like um, like Tane's version in two thousand twelve. You know, like the art style is is quite tight. It's like a printed book almost. Type ink drawings. 
and then for the um Ash versus Evil Dead, like the the art style is a uh, is a lot crazier. And then for Evil Dead Rise, it's kind of like uh kind of both. Yeah, a lot of details, but also uh, also very wild. Oh, and, and while we're here, I think I think me and Al should be um should be honorary knights of Sumeria, don't you think? Yeah, yeah, uh, for, yeah. For I think sure. those guys. Thanks. Sure. Yeah, those guys is the game. You, you create a, a lot of stuff that uh, I mean uh, is really loved from uh, the, the fandom. I mean, uh, because uh, I mean uh, when you. See the movie. I mean, the, the standard farms focus a lot of uh, on um, on the movie itself. I mean, on the actors, on on what do you see on screen. For example, in my in my case, I am a lot more on what happened behind the scenes. So I mm. love all the. Uh, let's say, I I, I am a, a a little bit particular because I, I wrote even a, a book and let's say on the story on the franchise. Um, a couple of years ago, so regarding Evil Dead Rise, there were just a few lines uh, that the movie is going to call, be called Evil Dead Rise and a little bit of the plot that come out. But for the other movies, I interviewed Tom Sullivan. Uh, talking about the book, he, he even had a, a very uh, interesting theory. You know, uh, I mean, uh, as a f- he's, he's a fan like us at the end, no? So his theory yeah. was that. Substantially, the, the the book are two. I mean, are two different books, and uh, in a certain way, the book from Evil Dead 2013 is just an explanation of how you get rid from uh, the demons, because uh, it it show a lot of uh, uh, of the way in which you can dispose, you know, yeah, uh, of the of the of the of the the monsters. Uh, Alex is telling uh, thank you for your contribution to the franchise. <laughs> Great job, guys. I, I, I fully agree. I fully Thanks, agree. Alex. Thanks, Alex. Thanks. Yeah, I mean, I mean, your your name are not on the spotlight now because uh, you have to <laughs> watch the the, the 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 final. You know, the the, the, the credit uh, then the credit titles. But I mean, your work. Hey, we're, is, uh... we're the dark ones. We stay in the shadows. Yeah, we stay in the shadows. Yeah. <laughs> You you are full in uh, saying the part of <laughs> <laughs> well not anymore now we're on YouTube <laughs> and um... that's where we're comfortable <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love it I love it a lot and um, let's say I mean I don't know if I have any specific question for you um, I mean um, one maybe yes. Uh, how much did you work at to get? I mean, how much the work of Al in, in some way influenced, for example, your work link on the, the book, for example? I mean, you are completely decoupled. You work on the separate rails completely, or in some way you collaborate in something at the end. Talking about Evil Dead Rise because in Ash versus, I mean, you work at the, on the, all the three, all the three, three last installment, but uh, not uh, yeah. j- just this one. You you work together, right? Yeah. 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 On, on Evil Dead Rise, our our jobs were quite separate, eh? Yeah. Al? yeah. I mean, it was broken apart. I did the cover a lot, a lot on the cover design for the book, but you you yeah. did the contents of the book pretty much. Yeah. I think I did some images, but they were just to fill in some background pages, like just when it was, um, you know, getting to the, the end of that. Um, so we didn't really cross over that much, but we definitely um, have collaborated a lot over the years yeah. on things. And hey, hey, Al, did you do some evil? Uh, did you do some hero pages as well, or or, or was there another artist involved? Evil, what do you mean? Oh, on rise, on rise. I think I just did some images, like uh, uh, drawings, but not not the actual page. I think yeah. did you do all that or, yeah? I don't 
Yeah, I, I thought when I, I when I saw the movie in the cinema, I thought there were a few hero pages that I didn't do. <laughs> yeah, those ones I did. <laughs> but I, oh, right, 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 cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, was yeah they were great. I wasn't sure if they were added in. I think they were in the credits, maybe. Um, I definitely recognized some of them in the credits. I mean, it's part of the surprise not knowing the whole, yeah. not seeing the yeah, whole book yeah. until you see it in the movie. Um, yeah. Yeah, so it's a it's a team effort for anyone listening. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. Uh, just a moment. Eh? I can see. I see if I can, uh, because I don't want to be. Uh, you know, if you show something uh, with audio from uh, some kind of movie, the the video get. Uh, uh, I don't know what the, how to say it. The demonetize. I don't know if it's yeah. Right. But I think that I, if I show some frame in the small uh, windows, okay. there is no, there is no uh, uh, problem. So I would like to go to the finals, to the final uh, title, the title card in the end. Ah, maybe I have a question for you guys, but uh, maybe more for Al. I don't know if uh, I, I talked with Nick Bassett too. In his opinion, the question I'm going to give to ask you is more for post-production, but uh, I, I'm going to try again, even with you. Just a moment. Before before the question, I'm going to show you the, the final and title card so we can talk about those. It's arriving. It's going to arrive. Just a moment. Okay. Wait. Huh? Okay. 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 Just a moment. Share. Present. Uh, share. Okay. Okay. For, first of all, I I didn't know this before, but here the the name of the the movie. Oh, sorry, is blackened because it, it stopped. Uh, the mm -hmm. name of the movie is in overlay on some book page here, right? Yeah. If not, uh, yeah. If I'm not wrong. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> This that, one is that's the page. You, right? This one is the yeah, one. Yeah, that, that's, that's mine. Yeah. That's that guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This one I didn't see. Okay, this that's one. Is... That's not me. The, the... That's okay. mine, yeah. yeah. This, this, this guy is pretty angry with the, this younger guy. <laughs> yeah, I get nightmares for a few weeks after working <laughs> on this. On this job. PTSD. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this one is the the the, the marauder, mar marauder marauder marauder. Yeah, yeah, I did that. That was a fun one. That was a fun yeah. one to work on. The marauder was a cool beast. Yeah. 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 Here, here, yeah. Uh, this, this I don't remember. Okay, this one is from uh, Link. Or, yeah, uh, yeah. If I if I encourage that these guys is uh, uh, removing the hand from this girl or something like that, <laughs> I... yeah, it's coming. It's it's nothing good. Yeah. <laughs> there is this guy on the behind that is uh, observing with uh, some kind of interest. Oh, this one remind me. Uh, Animal, a cannibal holocaust. Any, mm. any, think, any contamination? Is that you, Al? I think I might have done that one. And that one might have been me rejigging one that we did in 2013, I think. Um, uh -huh. Tari might have done some ones where those, they're skewered. Um, the only notes I had from Lee about that was just getting the horror into their eyes. So that um, had that sort of Terra look to them. Cool. Then we have uh, this one. Yeah, yeah, it's me again. Uh huh. Yeah, that's yeah. great. This remind me the one even from uh, Tim Williams uh, in the in the one uh, in which there is the the witch. Let's say let's call him so. Erso. When um, there is the page in which they, they, they show the, the burning of the witch 
or something like that. It reminded me a little bit of that one. In 2013. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was the book that Tane and myself were more involved in. So that was the, where I was sort of coming to this book from. Mm -hmm. Even here, probably some kind of uh, phone number. You know. Well, I didn't, I didn't do that. So that must mean somebody else. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. okay. No, no secrets from you here, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. this one? Yeah, same. same that's you, Al. Hey, yeah. That, yeah, that's cool. That's a cool one. The is, is that is that like a like a reference to that National Geographic photo? Yeah, the one that um the really the old uh, Afghan girl. Yeah, he it was all about the eyeballs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. What a nice uh, um, let's say smile here with the this yeah, they're fun images to do. They're fun images to do, but you got to hide them from your kids when your kids run in and you're working on it. <laughs> yeah. Let, let's fa let's do the Tinder of the Dead here, probably. <laughs> yeah. Might have been uh, Dave Garvey, the DOP. Oh, wow. It's pretty fun because uh, I can see the, sc the screen on uh, the, the the video shared, but I cannot see the screen. Anymore, where where the video is, is, the is going is. to play? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I did that one. This one? I don't that I don't know if I did that. Oh, that that's mine. That's um. Yeah, yeah that that's one of mine. That's cool. Cool, cool. Oh, it's cool seeing these in slow motion because in the movie they just whip past. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This remind me uh, the um, Bob character from Twin Peaks. Some, oh some... yeah, Bob. Yeah, bro. Bob. Yeah, yeah, Bob. Bob. He, yeah. Terrifying, Bob. Eh? <laughs> Ooh. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's gross, Al. <laughs> yeah. These Let's guys see. remind me the one from Ash vs. Evil Dead. Are, are are they similar? Right. You remind the the guys with yeah. the, without face. The the the, the the let's say um the children. Of, uh, not not the Eligos, the children of uh, oh the children, uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't remember the, the babies. Name. Yes, uh, the, the 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 blue babies that uh, are smashed by Ash at the end of the first season. No. Yeah, yes, the end of the first season, they come out from Pablo mouth, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. This is the one we I... see before, right? Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's a close up, right? It's a close up. Yeah, yeah, the... that's part. yeah, that's a, a crop that's pushed in. Yeah. Yeah, that's a fun one to do. Mm -hmm. It's very detailed, the scene in uh, this way, yes. Again. Yeah, we've tried um, all all kinds of expression for the for the demon in this picture. Mm -hmm. I think we, yeah, I really like the <laughs> the final you, face. Right now. Yeah, yeah. Do you have they, a little mirror off to the side when you're doing them, Link, like to to get those expressions. How do you how do you get them? Oh, just a mirror. Just look yeah. at my own face. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait a moment and try to because it's a, it's very it's very dark here. I I yeah. cannot show you better. I think I might have done that one. That might have been my take on one that Link was doing. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. So similar, trying to keep it so you can't really tell who who's done it, but um, because I was using your brushes, I think you sent me the Photoshop brushes to use to try and match it up. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, yeah, that's fun. That's cool. And uh, you use by uh, use this these colors by default, or you or you draw black and white, and then you move uh, to to the final. Uh, tone. I, I just match match to what Link had done because he had been working on the the book longer. I was just doing extra 
images for it? So that is a uh, secret formula uh, Sumerian blood color. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So, so, um, how we did those? Yeah, yeah. Really, really. The the unsung hero is, uh, is the as the prop the prop team, mm -hmm. really, because like me or L coming up with the the pictures and the text is only like half the not even half the job of uh, making this prop happen. So, so for my colleagues, that there's um, L. Hopwood and the prop makers, yeah. you know, who, who make the cover and those amazing things. But there's also um, Alice Kovitz and her team. Yeah, yeah, I know um, her name. I know her name. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Think something from her. Yeah, hustling, tr uh, trying to find different kinds of paper. And then um, trying different printers to um, get the right look. And then the prop painters um, who then put the uh, final aging, the final, uh, some extra blood here and there. Yeah, it's a real team effort. Um, yeah. But, but, um, but, but uh, about the color is a, um, it's just a dark red. And then we printed on paper that already has some some of the yellow color. So we had to um, adjust the color of of the ink a few times because because the paper color will make the final uh, page darker. So I have to find quite a dark red at first to do the concept stage, right? Mm -hmm. And then when we finally print um, on the yellow paper, I have to go back and uh, use a slightly lighter red and stuff like that. Yeah, so so it's it's a lot of uh, back and forth trial and error to get that really evil dark red color. That's mm. cool. That's really cool. Obviously, you are joking because we know that you use real blood and on the real skin. <laughs> so this this it's is a that, joke. This is all a joke. I mean, we are. We are trying to cover the real yeah. uh, under the cap. Digital the real blood. Blood. He's got a skull full of blood on his desk. I've seen. Yeah, it. I got my skull cup. Yeah, <laughs> he's dipping. Yeah, yeah I'm dipping. Oh, this one, this one, no, I love this one. That's you. Is that you oh then? yeah, that's me. That's that's another that's another fun one. Yeah. I love this one. I I, mean, I, I really love it in the movie because it's. It's related to the scene in which the the girl Gabrielle Eccles Eccles get the yeah the yeah world. so so for this version of the book yeah most of the hero pages um it relates back to some key scene in the film yeah that was Lee's idea that's very cool yes he even told me in the interview that um, we make that uh, the scene in which the pages moves you know. To, to, to choose the right pages. There were two different guys, one on the side. And one, yes, yeah. with blowing. <laughs> yeah. so, so it's, it's a real practical effort. That's one of the fun things about the Evil Dead movies. Yeah. Oh, and this one is some kind of uh, light coming out from the eyes, probably. I uh, Sorry, that, that is not really clear because yeah the... yeah that that's actually taken from an earlier version of the previous picture you know the mm -hmm. face with the vines coming out of the mouth mm -hmm. yeah so a couple of these um sketches that didn't make it in the film was used in uh, moments like this in the credits they didn't make it into the book but they made it into the credits that... yeah 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 Oh, this one, I don't remember this one. It's a kind of uh, twisted version of um, uh, Michelangelo. I don't remember yeah. the, the name of the opera. And the one in yeah. uh, Palla Sistina. <laughs> yeah, and, and, that's, and this one is actually an early, an early version of the one with the... With, with the... Um, with the 
all the heads coming out of the body yeah, of the woman. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is actually a very early version of that. Ah, okay, twisted, uh, flipped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, that, that, yeah, they used it for that. So, so this is an example of uh, me not understanding what the director wanted. <laughs> yeah, so they punished you, uh, putting you in the, uh, in the reverse. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The complete opposite of what they wanted. There you go. Yeah, I wanted heads coming out of the body, and you got me this naked lady upside down. What are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm glad they were final use for the picture after all. That's cool. This is a standard we can in the at the, at the seaside, I suppose, <laughs> with all the people uh, you know. Yeah, this is the yeah, art yeah. department office needed <laughs> in the last week. Just trying to get a coffee. Yeah. Yeah. There's L. There's L on the left hand side. Yeah. <laughs> He's well, done a few hundred, one hundred hour weeks. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Ah, okay. This is okay. I I'm going to find some kind of information here about you, your 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 address and stuff like that. But I need to to to. I mean, I can I can find this one and use for the alphabet then. <laughs> Google Translate. Yeah, yeah. exactly. exactly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this 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 the pie chart the pie chart here. That's like that, that. That must be like a like a deadite post office uh, stamp, eh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a sort of uh, postcard from hell, something like that. Yeah, quality control. Yeah, exactly. Poor, poor evil here. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose that there are a lot of people. Okay, it's fi it's finished. Cool. Cool. That's great. That's great. Well, uh, we we had a, a great time. I, I I would like to to thank you for being here. I mean, um, I don't want to 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 I mean to keep you for so long, because I mean you give us a lot of uh, very cool information, mm -hmm. uh, a very let's say um, storytelling of what happened. No, because because uh, you 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 see all the the finished product. I mean, all of your work uh, uh, it, it's behind. No, it's hidden, as I, as I said. But mm -hmm. uh, I mean, there is a huge uh, quantity of work here. I mean, uh, uh, back forth, uh, minimum changes, and I, I really love your job. And I hope, uh, as I said to, I said this to Lee, I said this to to, to Nick Bassett. I hope that if any other kind of uh, Evil Dead movie comes out, you you work on it because you give uh, a very very good, uh, I mean, interpretation. A very you 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 keep, um, I mean, you recognize the the real, uh, let's call it. Uh, uh, soul of the, the 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 franchise, and you bring it um, with your with your amazing work on on the screen. Yeah, Evil Dead was very special to me. Like I said, I'm out of out of the jobs I've out of the different jobs I've worked on. It's been the most fun. Um, yeah, and the, and the team that I've uh, worked with along the way with Al and Nick Bassett, and just just really. Great, great people. Yeah, they're always a good time. Yeah. Mm. Hey, hey, and th thanks to the fans. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I want to thank the, those you you crazy people out there who are like hitting pause on on the DVD and try to copy the each prop exactly. I mean, we love, yeah, yeah, love it. it. Yes, it's. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it, it, it's a very. I mean, sometimes something from the DVD, sometimes from the the, the, the real props uh, you get from some auction. I mean, for example, I have um, not one but two 
ring of Knight of Sumeria, one mm-hmm. that uh, that Dalton wore, and the other one that w- was wear that from the girl, the one from which the skin was peeled out. I don't remember in the third season, the other Knight of Sumeria. So you have uh, the woman, then the male, and then the woman Knight of Sumeria uh, mm-hmm. uh, ring design. And from that, uh, from a lot of picture we get, uh, they they were so good in replicating the final. You know, they have a, sure. they have even other props there. Oh. Uh, so I mean, with, with picture, with prop, with real props, they can uh, create a, a a very respectful copy to the original. I mean, and, and this is, uh, the the very cool thing here. It, it, they don't do this for money. They do this for. Mm-hmm. For real passion, they they re, they they like to cos- some some of them they like to cosplay, some of them they like to have uh, their displays. I mean, it's mm-hmm. it's great. They they share they they share the knowledge. Uh, it's a it's a working community that uh, share stuff and like that. So I mean, yeah, that's really great. Yeah, that really that really validates our life, you know, for for me and Al. And and mm-hmm. I was talking to Nick. Bassett last week, yeah, he said he was so happy to talk to you, and just wow. to just to hear about the passion of the fans. Yeah, it's really great. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, too much for being here. I I hope to have you again in the future, maybe for some uh, uh, more specific, uh, let's say, maybe other kind of, uh, uh, you know. Uh, let's say maybe for the next movie. I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. 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 you got I mean, uh, Yeah. 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 Let, let's hope uh, we get many more Evil Dead films. Yeah, yeah. I hope uh, almost one. Uh, the Sam Raimi talked about Sam Raimi Bruce Campbell talked something about uh, one of one uh, each two or three years. So maybe. Right. We are already here because the movie was uh, directed, it was uh, filmed in 2020, maybe in 2005, 2025, maybe. Right. Yeah. Maybe the Army of Darkness. Yeah, and maybe, maybe that should be a, an Italian Evil Dead. I don't know. What do you think? I, I don't know. <laughs> it's pretty. <laughs> <evil>. <laughs> I mean, we have a lot of uh, evil stuff here. A lot of people yeah. so, so, so maybe it could be a good, a good, very good setup. <laughs> I mean, even for for historical reason. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, the evil that the evil that myth- mythology is great because it kind of is open to interpretation. You know, each each yeah. each each time the story is told again, you know, the creators can like bring. Bring in some new elements every time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, I, I agree. I, I really love the fi- the fact that there are three books, and you know, the the the, the priest find it in mm-hmm. uh, in in some mission, and they bring uh, the book in they stay in the states. Yeah. <laughs> hey, by the way, great shirt, Emanuela. Oh, thank you. It's the Delta. Yeah. It's the Delta. I love the depth. Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool, cool. cool. <laughs> what is oh, this? Man? Is this um season one or season two? I think that's our that's our props crew shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's great. It's great. Uh, probably I'll have some kind of ink on uh, his, uh, his body. Just the tattoo. Yeah. yeah. No. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I have a beanie around somewhere. Some yeah. of my Evil Dead got stolen out of my car. Oh. Evil Dead crew gear got stolen. I don't know. It's probably on eBay. My fault for leaving it in the car. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. okay. So thank you. Don't, don't don't run away. I'm going to close the mm-hmm. the, the, okay. the live and then I go give you some uh, final salute. Okay. So okay. thank you for being here. Uh, thank you for everyone that followed the live, and uh, uh, I hope to um, to give you soon the the information for the next one. I I don't know if it will be the next week or so, but I keep you posted about the next one. Okay, 
Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.